Manchester United certainly hoping that Russo decides to extend. But that is again why Champions League football is so key. I think that's that's the decision. I don't know, but my inference of where she's at in her career, that if uh, they do get Champions League football Manchester United, then Russo will want to stay. Well, that's a worrying sign. Yeah, Leo Williamson down for Arsenal, and that does not look good. And Leo Valti and Jonas Eideval certainly concerned. Well, this is the last thing that Arsenal needs. She's already playing midfield, Williamson, because of the injury to Kim Lissell. They cannot afford to lose another huge player, and you see the reaction there straight away from Leah Williamson. This does not look good for the England skipper. Trying to figure out if it's a knee, didn't see her ankle roll, whether she was had a leg bent because it was something she found on a hamstring. But she's integral to this team, to the Lionesses. She's led to victory in her first term as the England captain. And with less than 100 days to go until the start of the World Cup. See here, a little one-two around as tries to recover and put the brakes on maybe in time. It looks like her right knee jars as she gets into the ground. I mean, God, Beth Mead, Vivian Miedemar, I hope it's not a trio of ACLs for Arsenal, a trio of players whose World Cup woes potentially. It's something, unfortunately, we're all coming too used to, isn't it? But that's the glass half empty version. Well, the deep, deep hope for Arsenal and England is that this is not as serious as it looks as though it could be for Leah Williamson. What a blow. I've done my ACL twice. Ethan Mannion's just come back from two ACL reconstructions. The teammates and all of them are look pretty innocuous is one thing and that one did look you couldn't quite pinpoint what it was but the stud seemed to get caught in the ground and the body continues to move and just hope that it's more of a, a knee-jerk reaction excuse the pun but well she's standing and those cheers and applause are not just from the arsenal fans that's from a lot of the Manchester United crowd as well. Of course, Lionesses fans will be hearing their numbers. They know how integral this woman is. And perhaps our hopes answered. She is able to walk off Leah Williamson. But that is it for this game. And they, they simply cannot take the risk. And, and when a player responds like that, you know your own body. So the change is made, Williamson is off, Gio is on, and that will necessitate a little reshuffle in terms of the bat because Gio is an attacking player, the Brazilian. Well, if Jonas Edevar was unhappy about the scheduling of this game ahead of the Women's Champions League at the weekend, he will now be livid. Worrying signs for Lee Williamson. It really is. And talking about World Cup places, obviously we saw a big injury for Arsenal, an early blow to them, Jilly, in Lee Williamson going off the pitch. Yeah, obviously going down, there was a bit of talk upstairs whether it, she got caught by Katie Zellen, but she don't seem to get any contact at all. And I think it's straight away she's obviously waving her hand in the air to, to see if serious. And a couple of players went over to her and doing the substitute sign as well. But I mean, not only for England, but that's such a huge potential loss for us. Obviously, don't know how serious it is at the moment, but obviously with Kim Little being out and her potentially going into midfield to then lose her. But obviously from an England's point of view, with the World Cup year coming up, being England captain, obviously with potential Millie Bright, you're unsure how long she's going to be out for. It's sort of that unrest and disjointed at the back. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not too serious. Yeah. I think it's these pitches, Alex, here that, are, you know, that 
gives you that little bit of worry in your head. A fantastic player, both for club and country. One that we won't want to, you know, see out injured. But yeah. it's the way she's just walked off down the tunnel. We've seen a brave face as she walked off the pitch. And it's these just behind the scenes here that look worrying for me. Yeah, we're just being told that Leah Williamson is currently on crutches being assessed. But I suppose when you do think of the bigger picture, Arsenal and England, they're also missing Millie Bright at the moment. So that would be a huge blow. Farrah. Massive blow. And, and one that we don't want. We can't afford to have, you know, both of us in a house. But Leah, you know, the, the maturity of her over the last couple of seasons, you know, both on and off the pitch has been massive. And a player that we can't afford, to, you know, Arsenal certainly can't afford to lose with a big semi-finals in the Champions League at the weekend. Even today, they needed a result from today. So, yeah, it will be a big loss. And as I say, fingers crossed, it's not as bad as what it looked as she left the pitch. OK, 